Okay, hey guys, Gilius here from Gamers2 Doing my first vlog ever um, <laughs> I took myself some notes, so it's a, it's a bit more structured, so I will just start instantly How is it living in the house? Um, living in the house is really nice um, The house is really big, the weather in Spain is amazing And we have really good computers we can work with every day and practice hard for the LCS and yeah we everyone gets along really good with each other and yeah okay that's about it <laughs> um, okay how has the changer series gone so far um, it went not that good for us um, we lost two games with Origin and one game with Reason Gaming, but won the rest of them. Uh, the reason we lost to um, Origin was because they were just a better team. We were not really settled down to the house yet and had didn't really practice good enough. And our loss versus Reason Gaming was just yeah that that's like a really weird story I don't <laughs> want to talk about, but yeah, we just lost, but we had a better team so um what are your s expectations for playoffs? okay, first of all, I will explain how the playoffs work because I don't think everyone knows it, so basically, we were six teams in the challenger series, the top four go into playoffs into like a semi final. The first team plays versus the fourth, and the second versus the third. Um, we are we finish the challenger. We will finish the challenger series most likely at second. So we will face the third team. The third team will probably be Lowland Lions or Reason Gaming. And the winner of that match will most likely play versus Origin. I don't think the fourth place team can beat Origin. And the winner of the final <laughs> um, goes instantly into the LCS um, because there's an auto relegation system now. Um, the loser of the final plays versus the second last of the LCS. There, so if you lose that match, you will play versus MYM or Giants, probably. So it's not even that hard to get into the LCS this season in my opinion. I think we are stronger than them. But we expect, um, I expect us to win this origin just because since the last weeks we improved a lot and <coughs> it shows in our scrim results that everyone is working really hard and yeah that's why I think we will win. <sighs> Okay, what are the best champions in the new patch is the next question. Um, we're in patch 5.5 now. Riot Games um, changed the item Juggernaut to an item called Cinderhook. And it just makes tank junglers really broken. You hit 20 minute mark, the 20 minute mark and you have like 4k HP. <laughs> so the best champions in the new patch are probably Sejuani. Sejuani is probably the best champion. Um, after that, I guess champs like Zack are really good, or Ragas is pretty good. Lee Sin is still good, even though nothing changed, but Lee Sin just does really well versus tanks, because he can pressure early a lot. And yeah, that's about it, I guess. You can probably play Volibear or Mundo as well, but yeah. You, you just become an unkillable monster with this item. Okay, the last question is, how is it living really far from home? Um, it was a bit weird in the first week because I needed to make food for myself and if you wake up in Madrid, it's a bit <laughs> weird. <laughs> but I got used to it really fast. I'm not that kind of person that is like super sad because he can't see his family of course I love my family but yeah I just I'm not homesick or something so that's that's fine I guess I got used to it really fast but the first week was pretty hard 
because yeah, I needed sometimes to cook for myself and <laughs> there was a struggle, I guess, because I'm not really skilled in doing this, so yeah. Thanks for watching this vlog guys, um, thanks for all the support you guys give to gamers too, and yeah, see ya next time, bye!